my name is Mari. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you are here. So in today's video, I am basically going to show you everything I've bought so far for my classroom for the 2021-2022 school year. So a little bit about me. Um, I am transitioning from middle school for six years. I've been teaching middle or I was teaching middle school for six years, six great language arts. And I'm finally going to high school and I'm super duper excited. Um, a little disclaimer, I'm going to attempt to film this video in five minutes. Also, I have my Doberman puppy here and he might make a guest appearance from time to time, but I have my handy dandy spray bottle. So hopefully I can keep him away from the camera and my things. Juby, leave it, leave it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the little things first, and then I'm gonna move on to the big things. A lot of the items, hi. <laughs> so please don't knock down my setup. Leave it alone, goodbye, go. Um, so a lot of the things that I've bought are from Amazon, Etsy, and then stores like Home Goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx. All right, so let's go ahead and get started before uh, my camera dies and my animals take over the video. Okay, so first things first, I also forgot to mention that a lot of my um, items this year will be from Target as well. Um, any veteran teacher knows that you need command strips. You can never have enough command strips. So many schools do not want you to use a hot glue gun because it uh, basically can strip the paint off of the walls. Um, so like I said, Command strips will be your best friend. Even if you don't use the hook part, you just use the um, tape part. Um, they work, they last all year long, and I fully recommend them. The next item that I purchased from Amazon um, is this wall calendar. Um, so I really love the details in this calendar. The greenery that you see right here, I wish it was bigger, but, but um, it's okay. Um, I'm still gonna hang it up and I love it. I found this on Etsy and basically it says, just be a good human and i love that message and i cannot wait to find a frame suitable for it that i can hang it up in my new classroom next thing i got was definitely from amazon and basically it's just this garland i have to untangle it but juvie please back up oh my gosh basically it's this garland and i plan to hang it um above my board or maybe in front of my desk, I'm not sure, but I love the colors, um, it's perfect, it's right up my alley. Next is basically a banner, um, but basically I plan to hang it up on one of my walls and it just says good vibes only. And it's pretty humongous, so I think that's pretty cool, especially for a high school or middle school classroom. So instead of using the uh, bulletin board paper that you find in your school's library. I am leaning towards um, basically wrapping paper or just plain, um, I don't know what you call it, just brown recycle paper. It's a little bit more sturdier, doesn't rip as easily. But yeah, I, I look forward to just using this on my bulletin boards. You know, nice little touch. Definitely going along with the color scheme. I got some more hot glue guns, miniature hot glue sticks, I'm sorry, for my hot glue gun. Like I said, if you use hot glue guns at your school, don't get caught. See, I got some more letters. This is also from Amazon. I really like this font. I'm thinking about going on Etsy and ordering some customized fonts um, before the school year begins. I'm thinking about it. I also decided to get this uh, what is it called, scrapbook paper. And I plan to uh, basically tape them on the walls and use them to, to display student work. Um, I really like the backgrounds. These are the different options that come in this pack. I really love these colors. Um, so even though I am teaching high school, I do plan to give my students assigned seats. I plan to number the desks and give students an assigned number. And basically they'll be in alphabetical order, at least for the beginning of the school year. That way it's super easy for me to take roll and pass out work and things of that nature. So I plan to use these as labels. It comes with um, an erasable chalk <laughs> marker, but I plan to get a white or silver permanent marker from Target so that they can't erase the numbers that I'm gonna put on there. Another type of material or paper that I like to use on my bulletin boards is basically contact paper, but I do not take off the paper backing that 
it sticks on so that so that I can reuse it. Um, these are pretty cool as well, super handy. And these are from Amazon. A couple more things that I got from Etsy that I'm super proud of. Actually, these were from Amazon. Basically, these miniature posters that have different uh, sayings and verbs on them. Uh, I plan to hang this up as well. Um, so this one says hustle, the only controllable pillar of success, persistence, um, execution, success, perseverance, and grind, and that's it. Um, I thought those were really cute, especially in an older classroom. Another uh, miniature poster set that I got from Etsy, um, basically these are different uh, figures of speech, and I thought they were super cool, and I love the color scheme. Juvie, I don't need any help. So yeah, it has colloquialism, euphemisms, alliteration and just has different examples. I really love the color scheme and the font that is used. I, my wish list, the next big things I need to purchase are a pencil sharpener, a printer and a laminator. That is what I need. I need those things. And I also ordered quite a bit of stuff two days ago. So more things will be coming in. I ordered black border as well, but I just like this border because it's, um kind of like a burlap pattern. I thought that was cool for my color scheme. And I still have border left over from my previous years of teaching. Now, what I wanna show you, I super duper love and I'm happy that I found it. I found it at Marshall's and I posted this on my teacher gram, my Instagram. Isn't this the cutest little rainbow? And it says, love every shade. Um, yeah, I'm super happy about this. I'm gonna put it on either my bookshelf or on my desk. Next, on to the big and bigger things. So, um, if you ever want to look for faux plants for a good price, please go to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, or Ross. You will find them. Um, I plan to put this on my bookshelf as well. If you hear something in the background, that is my other dog. Um, I found this macrame. I think that's how you pronounce it, macrame. So, I also purchased this little number, and I plan to hang it up in the classroom. Definitely goes along with my boho vibe, boho modern vibe. I'm going to be bohoed out by the end of the year because my wedding is boho themed as well. Boho modern chic, if that makes any sense. Also got a welcome mat, but I'm kind of sad because I think my door opens from the inside and I think that the mat is too thick and the door won't be able to open. So I'm going to figure out another place to use it. If not, it'll just end up in our house. No biggie is this mirror. I also got it from TJ Maxx. And I'm planning to hang it up as well. I think it's super cool. Goes with the vibe as well. I found this little number and I'm gonna hang it up and I'm also going to put uh, pictures, printed out pictures of me and my friends and family and loved ones. Um, and I, surprisingly, I did not realize that Shutterfly prints pictures at such a good price. So yeah, um, I think I printed out nine prints for about $1.15 maybe? $1.15? It wasn't much at all. So yeah, way to go Shutterfly, thank you. Um, We got three more things guys. So I plan to uh, hang this mirror up inside my closet. The last item that I picked up is from Home Goods, and basically it is an outdoor indoor rug. Juvie, please don't bite the rug. Um, nonetheless, I decided to get an outdoor indoor rug. Never again will I spend over $15 for a rug that's going in my classroom. It's just not a smart idea. But yeah, I really love this rug. I love the detail, um, and it was super duper cheap. I think I got it on sale. So that is all I have so far. My dog is ringing the bell to go outside. That's all I have so far. I have to go. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, comment, engage, um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.